Hi everyone, I want to guide you through the process of creating a new graphics program. So inside IntelliJ, do File New Project. We want a Java project. I will call mine Graphics Template. And I'll open it in this window. So uh, as before, you can expand your project folder here. Oops. And you want to create a class inside SRC. So I'll right click and say New Java Class. Um, you can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call it main, or maybe I'll call it game. That's better. Um, so there's a couple of differences uh, from regular programs that you've been writing. Before, we've said public static void main. Here, we're still going to do that, um, but that's not the main part of the template. The main part of the template is typing uh, public void settings with an opening and closing brace, public void setup again with opening and closing parentheses and an opening and closing curly brace, and public void draw. So you want these four pieces. Um, be careful that you have an opening and a closing brace with nothing in between for the moment. At the top, after public class game, but before the opening brace, we'll type extends papplet. Uh, P applet you can think of as meaning graphics window, and extends means that our program is a graphics window. So game extends P applet means our game is a graphics window. All right, in settings we'll type uh, excuse me size, and then you tell it what size you want the window to be. And you'll notice that mine P applet is red and size is red, and that's okay. We'll fix that in a minute. Inside main. P applet, and again, uh, pay attention to capital P, capital A, uh, P applet dot main, and then inside quotes, give it the name of your class up here, so game. All right, so what's happening is the graphics window code doesn't come built into Java. This is somebody else's code. So we have to download a file that has all that code and then add that file to our project so that we can use that code. So I'm going to go to FHS, oops, sorry, I'm going to go to bit.ly, FHS, uh, get core v3. And I can download it. And it might say something about harming your computer, but this will not harm your computer. So you want to go ahead and keep it. Then go to your downloads folder, and you should see core.jar in your downloads folder. You can drag it directly from your downloads folder right onto graphics template up here. And it will ask you, do you want to move it? And the answer is yes, let's move it. And so you should see it appear right there. The last step is right click and go all the way down to add as library right here. And then we'll say OK. And then the last, last step is uh, click on P applet and do Alt Enter and say import class. And now everything should work. We can double check that it's worked by adding an ellipse command here. So let's say ellipse 300, 300, 60, 60. And then we can run it by pressing the play button down here. And I forgot a comma. Let's do it one more time. And there we go, there's my ellipse.